Okay, so what I've done so far is to unwrap the package and uh, look at the parts, organize the parts, make sure I have everything I need, um, and then dry fit and read through the instructions. So another thing that I'm gonna do as I prepare is to clean the edges of the laser cut um, just with some tissue soaked in alcohol just to clean off the soot. In preparation for finishing, uh, one would choose whether to leave the MDF as it is or paint it or stain it. And at this point, it is important to stain um, because any glue marks would resist stain if we were to stain after assembly. You don't have to do that when you're painting. Um, the finished assembly can be painted. So now we're ready for assembly. Um, and following the instructions, we would take one side wall and set it up on its longest edge. Um, and we're going to put in the middle shelf. Let's take a minute and talk about clamps. For this project, I do like to use the clamps. Um, the pieces are laser cut, meaning they have very nice flat, sharp edges, which helps to square up the piece. And in using clamps, it's nice to put it in and square it up. But we don't all have clamps. So for today, we're going to use tape. Now we're going to repeat those steps with the other shelves. So here's the bottom shelf. Now we will install the third shelf. The advantage of putting that middle shelf in first is that we don't have to work around it in putting then the bottom and top shelves on. And then our next series of steps is to repeat everything we've done using this second wall. One last step that can be beneficial um, to assure that it is perfectly square and tight is to wrap some tape around the assembly. And I have my little square here that I like to use to help assure that our joints are square. You can use anything that's that we know is perfectly square. 